Yo guys, how's it going? So previously, I showed you how to play Portal on Android and recently Half-Life on Android Wear. Now it's time to show you how to play Half-Life 2 on Android. It's very simple and easy to do, but you will need to have a rooted Android device. So let's check it out. Okay guys, so to do this, you're going to need to have the Half-Life 2 APK file. Now, I'm not going to direct link you to it, however, with a simple Google search, you should find it. Just a reminder, if you do have an NVIDIA Tegra Shield device, skip this tutorial because you can play Half-Life 2 without any modifications whatsoever. So to make this work on a non-Shield device, we're going to use the app GeoTools, which you will need root in order to use. So open up GeoTools, and what you first want to do is select the texture plugin to use from the top. So select the second one, then also check both of the text boxes at the bottom and hit install. It will reboot your device. Again, this app allows you to play Tegra games on non-Tegra devices, which is pretty cool. So once the device reboots, go to Half-Life 2. Make sure custom settings is enabled as well as optimize GLSL shaders. Use fake CPU and GPU. And also use the template and select Tegra 4 Shield for the template. And finally, make sure all the emulation options are selected at the bottom. Now, we're going to use an app called Game Keyboard Plus. I'm going to actually be using an actual USB controller connected with an OTG cable to my Galaxy S6. However, you can use this app to emulate the onboard keyboard, similar to what I did with Portal. I'll be honest with you guys, I really hate this app so much because it's so buggy, but yet it's the only thing that allows me to key map my USB controls to different keys just so they work with the Half-Life game because that expects you to use an Tegra controller with like the gamepad A and gamepad X and Y. So I'm just going to keep doing this app. So once we get that done, go and open up Half-Life 2. If you haven't downloaded the content, it's going to prompt you to download about 2GB in content, so just give that time. So now, once in Half-Life 2, we can start a new game. Now, the beginning is, with the textures, it's really messed up. I mean, <laughs> well, you can just see how really bad it is with the texture decoding right now. Uh, unfortunately, this part is just weird, so I would just say, just ignore this right now. But inside of actual gameplay, is not that bad. Yes, there still are a lot of black textures, as you can see. But a lot of it is texturized, and a lot of it you can see in its, in its viewable content. One thing, when you get up close to people, again, they look some like some type of weird fizz-like texture, as you can see. Where only, you can see portions of what they're wearing, but you kind of can't. It's a little weird. But still, it's cool that this works really well. I had no problem with performance and playing this with a controller, oh my gosh, it really makes life easier. In fact, playing any game with a controller, at least mobile game, makes life easier. It's just cool that I can play this on a device that really wasn't meant to play Half-Life 2, unless it, it was a shield device. So guys, there you have it. That is how you can play Half-Life 2 on Android. Now stay tuned for my next video when I put this on Android Wear and it goes viral. Just kidding. <laughs> so guys, if you liked this video, definitely give it a thumbs up. And as always, thanks for watching and stay tuned for another galvanizing video. Thanks.